one thing's true about the Savage Golf, it's savage. <laughs> We can make it out of here. Yeah. Are you available to help me? See how long this smile lasts. You ready, Garth? Are you ready? Let's go. So we're at the Savage Golf doing the South Rim and North Rim loop. This should be 18.2 miles stretched over three days. Elevation gain will be over 2,100 feet. So there's the ranger station and the trail is this way. Mile post zero. South Rim, North Rim Trail. Talked to the ranger, and the ranger said that there are a, a lot of reports of snakes and that the bears are also active in the area. So last time I was out at the Savage Gulf was episode 17, if you recall. Uh, did three nights there doing the stone door loop. Survived that one, so hopefully, Three days on this eastern loop will be survivable as well. Yeah, you need some water? Yeah. In the front side of my left pocket. Backpack? Of my backpack. Front side of your backpack, okay. Yes. There is the snake kit and the band-aids and the antibacterial ointment and whatever other first aid stuff we may have. That's where it's at. Just in case. Just in case. Knowledge is power. Hopefully we don't need it. it. May save your life. I really hope we don't need it. Let's hope we don't need that stuff on this yeah. trip. Or any trip. Any no probes. <laughs> Day one, it's 4.30 in the afternoon. We've got about less than a mile and a half to hike to the first campsite for the day. So it looks like we need to go left because we're going to Savage Falls campsite, 0.6 miles. Look at this. Look at that. So 
aus. Still sight. That reflection of the trees in the water is just absolutely gorgeous. Success. And my toenail's still intact. Now that's a story. Savage Creek. Check it out. Come on, dude. Got it. That was the Savage Falls Overlook. Uh, we'll return. But first, we gotta set up camp. That's a bit of a climb. So we're gonna take a left. Spider web season. Light berries. Campsite four, which happens to be. Wait, now that's the pivy. <laughs> And campsite four. All right. Home sweet home. I don't eat a bag. Why? For my food. Why is that? Because all my food's in this, and I just hang this up. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. That's a smart way to do it. Okay. I knew there was a reason I did it in the top. That's a really smart way to do it. Every backpacker needs a luxury item. For me, it's this pillow. Okay. Check it out. Look at that. Got the big Agnes. I'm done with my side. Take a look. Pillow. Can't sleep without it. I've got my Nemo. Already ready to go. Yeah. Tiffany is a pyromaniac. She won't let me touch the fire. I want it to burn. <laughs> My job is to go in the woods and get poison ivy and bring back kindling. Might be 
Maybe time to go get more poison ivy. I mean, kindling. Is that dad sense? Is that what you're doing? No, wait, dad. Pockets. Pockets. Dad, dad sense. Look Straight at on. her hard work here. She's, she's uh, helping us survive the night. Gotta keep us warm tonight. It's gonna be 60. <laughs> I know. That she's not worried about it, but 60 is cold. Okay, I've got to go forge for more kindling. I'm bringing kindling. Okay, so it rained two days ago? Yesterday. Last Yesterday. Night. Last it night, right? Rained last night. Is that right? Yeah, I guess I suppose so. And uh, everything's soaked. Everything is very wet. Yeah, it is. So tonight's dinner is going to be this peak refuel beef pasta marinara. Should be pretty good. I guess we're going to wrap up the day. It's 8 o'clock almost. The sun is beyond the horizon. It's only a matter of minutes until it gets dark. See you then. and we had a change of plans we we're looking at the elevation map we'll drop it right here and the elevation on the south rim to the north rim looks hella hard so we're gonna do the north rim and then come back doing the south rim so we got this far this trail goes to dead ends and we know it doesn't go to the water but we're going down Savage Falls we'll have to come back to it on our way uh, around on the south rim You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. This is Rattlesnake Overlook. <laughs> right, we've arrived to the North Rim Trail. Going to Hobbs, 6.3 miles. That's a little bit foreboding. Somebody's back. Onward we must go. Found some water. Worth the side in. A pit stop at Meadow Creek, which is a tributary to Savage Creek.
I know some of these things dry up in the summer, but right now there is plenty of water. Look at that, a feather. Another suspension bridge. What does this make it? Three? Third suspension bridge. I think. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Whoa, what a jump. Oh, it's so pretty. Meadow Creek. Five point nine miles. If we take a left. Mm -hmm. Right. I believe this is the Meadow Creek overlook. Let's check it out. Okay, we just saw a snake somewhere in that rock right there. Needless to say, we booked it out of there and it disappeared. But there are snakes out here. Maybe this is Savage Creek Overlook. It's a bit overgrown. Not much to see here, folks. This might actually be the Savage Creek Overlook. Maybe they both are. This one looks like we might be able to see a little bit more. the water below. They sound mad. Yeah. Snakes we've seen. This overlook is called Loose Rock Overlook. So Loose Rock Overlook, everybody. I know the camera doesn't do it justice, but Really nice overlooks. Oh, almost fell. Gotta watch where you're going. Do not compare to the stone door overlook, so if you haven't been there, highly suggest it. Something big. Squirrels. It could be. You think they are? I see squirrels. Dang. Okay. I keep hearing these huge sounds in the woods. They turn out to be squirrels each time. So the terrain on the North Rim Trail has been a bunch of varieties. It's been uh, dry, it's been wet, it's been soft, it's been hard, it's been some rock scrambling. Uh, it's just all kinds of different types. Elevation's not been too bad. Two miles.
think that's a landslide overlook. Gotta see, it kind of looks like a landslide heaven. Maybe, maybe that's its name. Where it gets its name from? seen a baby pine cone. There it is. Whoa. I hope you Yeah, I did. Oh, that was... so that plane just flew through this gorge. I've seen a lot of crazy stuff outside. I don't think I've ever seen anything that crazy. And in the distance, we've got rain and we've got about four more miles to go so we're going to try to beat that hopefully we're not going to get rained on feels like rain that's a long way down got some wild blueberries up here check that out this one's ready to eat. All right, Mountain Oak Trail, the North Rim Trail. Let's see Hobbs Cabin, 3.4 miles. Looks like we've gone 5.1 from the Ranger Station. We have one more creek crossing after this. I don't think we're going to fill up on water just yet. Garth loves the water. Hey, it's the water, Garth. He's busy drinking. <laughs> Come on, Garth. You can do it. Yeah, that's beautiful. Three miles. Just now three? Yeah. This overlook is called Jumping Branch Overlook. Let's take a look at it. So it's raining. Oh, it's a good lesson for everybody. Uh, never trust the weather. I think originally it said it wasn't going to rain when we came, then it said it was, then it said it wasn't, then it said it was. We've only got one rain jacket, so fingers crossed. We don't get rained on. It's raining pretty good. This canopy's keeping us somewhat dry though. Hi, my name's Richard, and I like really long walks in the woods. What about you? My name's Tiffany, and I like sitting by the river and sunbathing and not moving all day long. <laughs> Another creek crossing. Everything in the woods is trying to be super quiet. And we got these squirrels at the top of the trees being loud as they have been the entire trail, throwing nuts and stuff at us. They do not care at all. They are not trying to be secretive at all. Secretive. Oh yeah, look at that. Five. in. 
in on Hobbs Cabin. Looks real close on the map. I'm hoping that we can get some water there. Because we've not re-upped on our water supply. And there is no water. We're gonna have to hike up to get some. That tree. But another news, another mile marker. Six miles. camera caught that but there's a deer so say squirrels snakes deer yeah. and what and a wild plane never thought this moment would come we've arrived Whew. so ready to get this pack off me my traps are burning my knees are burning. How you doing back there? <laughs> There's the John. There. Here's Hobbs Cabin. Another wet floral shirt, as I say. And as the map promised, spring. Yay. Watch out, Gar. All right. I think all our water is filled up. I think we're good to go. Let's try the spring water. Oh, it's good. It's very good. So look at this roof. It's raining. It sounds nice. I think we picked a perfect day to stay at Hobbs Cabin. We got here in perfect time. Let's check out this cabin for the first time. It's got a little fire pit. Look, we got a football and some ketchup just in case. A measuring cup, uh, some stuff down there. Look at this fireplace. Mouse trap. Some tools. Some seats. And a table. Here's the beds. There's that. More beds. Mouse trap. That looks like a rat's nest. If I've ever seen one. But, yep, rat's nest for sure. Look at these pads. All right. Okay. Sweet.
He's coming towards us. Hanging out with the turtle. Should we name the turtle? I'm thinking Murphy. Murphy. Yeah. yeah. Murphy. You're talking about what happened to your toe? Um, like the whole story? Do you want the whole story? Yeah. So, we did this little hike in Guatemala on a volcano. And you do this for five miles, and then you do this for five miles. And apparently my toenail wasn't having it. So um, my toe hurt for like three days afterwards. Couldn't touch it. Went numb for a couple more days. <laughs> it came back and then um, it's gonna fall off. It's hanging on by a corner now. It's I'm not ready to let it go, hence the Band-Aid. Um, we'll see if it makes it through the trip. 5,000 feet of elevation gain on Akintanango. Oh, not for the faint of heart. It's like a loose tooth. Not for the faint of heart. Check out that setup right there. So I'm going to be sleeping. Look at that thing. What a behemoth. Okay. So. We are trying to pack up and we are literally being attacked by bees. <laughs> From like every angle, it is not fun. There's like two or three down there. Oh, there's three. It's gonna fall over. I'm gonna be lucky if we can make it out of here without getting stung. <laughs> so, we got evicted from Hobbs' cabin. The bees did not want us there fortunate to not get stung knock on wood, knock on wood. <laughs> we still got half the trip to go uh, 6.3 trail junction so we're on a stagecoach road 3.1 miles all right so we are going downhill and we've run into rocks. Not like important. Ones. It did rain last night, so everything's super wet. Sketchy. So, I've fallen once, Tiffany's fallen once, we're one to one. Garth is taking it in stride though, he's a trooper. So, therefore he's tethered. <laughs> longest mile that I've ever done I think in my life I think it took us an hour to do it a little over an hour so what a break the caffeine <laughs> caffeine water break necessary with spring water it was good but it didn't the spring water didn't come with caffeine so Oh, it's time to scoot on the butt. That's how steep this is.
little tree assistance. Little scoochy scooch. Oh, steps. Is it, does it level out? No, it keeps going. Oh, perfect, perfect. That's what I did. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's one way to do it. <laughs> oh, that was a rough landing. Success. Now I gotta get the nugget. Champion. Yeah. Do you wanna come with us? <laughs> I'm Garth, and I have hiked more than any other dog ever. Especially small dog. Yeah. He's got, I don't even know how many miles on him. A ton. Two planes today. Savage Creek, a little dry on this end. Garth, you ready? <laughs> All right, 1.9 miles from Hobbs Cabin. We have ran into another suspension bridge. view over Savage Creek. It's very, very dry, but this is the start of it. Oh, this thing is bouncy. Yeah. In the rocks. In the dry creek. In the dry creek. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's why like the water's flowing so much at the waterfall. Let's go Garth. You get it, you can do it. It's steep. It's scary. Come on. What is that? I really don't know. It flies. I think it flies. It just landed on Tiffany. I don't know what that is. It's an alien we found. Are you trying to be a caterpillar? Because caterpillars don't fly until they cocoon. It is hot. I only have two shirts. I'm a floral shirt to attach to here. And I have my tank top here. Both are wet. Oh. We've got today and tomorrow left on the trail. And I lost all my thoughts, but the original thought was that he thinks that we're done with the decline of elevation and I don't. Why do you keep saying that? Okay, so we are at the lowest point on the north rim to south rim trail which happens to be on savage creek at the bridge suspension bridge so from here we got to do 150 feet of elevation gain up 150 down and then 700 straight up so we'll see how brutal this is Some yeah. Okay. Give me. Oh, no. Garth wants your help. Come on, Garth. Help, Mama. Help your mommy.
victorious. <laughs> Sage Road Historic Trail. 1.6 miles to the South Rim Trail. And then 2.6 miles to the Stage Road Campsite. Our destination today. Period. Yeah. I got it. <laughs> Did I get it all? Yeah, your eyes are super red now. Oh, I see that man. Oh, oh I flipped it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I went and gone with that little booger. I always feel like I'm getting buckled in for like some sort of Dollywood adventure. <laughs> That's exactly yeah. what this is. So we're on the old Stagecoach Road now. It's a historic road that is now functioning as a trail. Apparently, uh, the communities in the area back in the day would transport livestock along this road and also merchants coming uh, across the Cumberland section would bring goods uh, out west to mid on East Tennessee. Apparently, where this road narrows up, traffic jams were a common occurrence. Crazy looking. This makes you wonder what was going on under there back in the day. Sagecoach Road. That doesn't seem much, but when you've been hiking days, it's hard to get over those logs. What are you carrying? Hi, oh my goodness! Hey, hi. Did somebody get hot? Say hello. Yeah. My name's Garth. And I'm tired. And I'm the star of this movie. That's for sure. <laughs> Found some more water, which is great news. Garth's happy about it. Piker brain. Wow. Look at this. This is awesome. I think we're done, done with the uphill. There's Collins. One day, Collins. One day. Today is not that day, though. Ranger Station, seven miles. Sagecoach Campsite, point nine.
He says, here's the water. I found it. Some things I miss about civilization. Well, only one thing, really. That's cold, icy. What ice do you, water. ice water. Yes, ice water sounds amazing. And a cushion for my tushy. And like ice cream always, but that is a little of a luxury. And not wearing bug spray. And I could keep going. Here's the I only have one more thing, shower being clean oh yeah just an update we we're gonna stay at stagecoach road tonight but it's early in the day and we're both kind of feeling like we need to get out of this place so we're gonna try to make it back look at these flowers so trying to come up with a name for this episode I think it's going to be Savage Gulf, North Rim to South Rim. Or Savage Rim. The Savage Rim. We are eating, right? Yeah. This one's definitely a lot muddier. How mean this guy looks. Big spider. Do it again. Podcast from <laughs> and he's like limp puppy. <laughs> limp puppy. He's only done 15 miles in two days so far. It's fine. So I think like every backpacking trip has like a theme. And the theme for the last Savage Golf trip I did was the mushrooms. The theme for this trip, I think, it's gonna be spiders. Oh. Both those spiders that we've seen did not look nice. Looked like predators from like the movie Predator. So, so far, the South Rim Trail has not been a lot of rim, which it's okay. Beautiful sight. And so many bees on this trail. So many. What did the bee use to brush its hair? Honeycomb. I'm not even sure if South Rim deserves to call itself the South Rim Trail. It should be called more of the same trail. There's not been any uh, being on the rim. Not been any overlooks. Well, two. They were both overgrown. And it's just more of the same. One thing's true about the Savage Gulf, it's savage. Half mile. Ranger Station in 1.6 miles.
Okay, so Tiffany's, Tiffany has been to Savage Falls quite a few times and she's ready to go. So she's not gonna come down to the base of the waterfall with me, but I've never been and I wanna see it. Check it out. Savage Falls, everybody. It's an awesome, awesome waterfall. <laughs> Okay, my pack is soaked. It is completely wet, beyond wet. We are back where we started on day one, guys. Heck yeah. So, if you enjoyed this content, be sure to hit that like button and also subscribe so you can see my next trail. Also, it's my birthday. I turned 34 today. So, if you're watching this and you hear that piece, sure to tell me happy birthday so now the mission is to catch up with tiffany i've got to get out of here before it gets dark doing good on timing got uh about an hour maybe less 40 minutes left i think we can make it Yeah. I cannot believe we did that. <laughs> Let's drop the stats right here. 21.28 miles. Look at that. 2,500 feet elevation gain. And in 16 hours. Second Savage Loop done. All I have left to conquer is the Collins Loop. Catch you there.